So, today I'm going to be showing you how to change the brake pads on the front and rear of your bike. But uh, first I've just got to finish fixing this new exhaust. So, the tools you'll probably need today is a ratchet and socket, some Allen keys, a pair of long nose pliers, some copper grease and some silicone release spray. So, the first set we're going to be changing is on the front and on this particular model of bike we've got one set of brake pads this side and one set of brake pads the other side. And all we're going to do is remove the caliper by taking out these two bolts. This will slide off and then we can take this metal shim off and put in our new brake pads. Let's begin. Right, let's undo these two bolts. Now we can slide the caliper off the brake disc. Now we can unscrew this metal plate. and there's the plate off so next all we're doing is pulling out this little safety pin like that and then we can slide out the slider you want to keep that handy and your pads will now just drop out now these are our new pads same as the old ones and uh, if we can get in, there we go. Pad number one, pad number two. And then all you've got to do is push these back. They should go back pretty easy. If not, you can use the silicone release spray. As you can see there, these ones are nice and pushed back. And then you've got a little bit this side that needs edging back. Just give that a squeeze in, give that a squeeze in, and that one a squeeze. And then we can put in our new pads, number one, number two. Put the pin back in. Probably the most awkward part. There we go. And then you can just take the pin and push that back in to secure that from falling out. And now your brake pads are in. The next part is just pushing it back onto the disc, easy as that, and screw your two bolts back in. It's at this point now where you can put your copper grease on your bolts and uh, that'll make them easier to get out next time. I'll put that one there and that one there. And the reason I've left this bit open till last is just so we can see if there's any problems while it's going back on. So uh, as you can see, the disc sits in the middle of the two pads, this screws back on, and then we're all good. Now you can check your torque settings for accuracy, and that'll be in your service manual. But uh, I'm just gonna do this to overhand tightness, and that'll be perfect. Right, time to put the plate on. So, as you can see, that is a very quick and easy procedure to change your brake pads. Uh, we're now going to do the other side, which is just as quick and easy. I won't show you in any detail because you've just seen what, uh, what's involved. And then we'll move on to the back brake pads. So uh, let's begin again. Oh. 
So now we're moving on to the rear set of brake pads and that's by removing this caliper. Now this one's held on with Allen bolts, so uh, we're just going to undo those now, two here. So now we can remove that caliper. So once again this is very easy, you'll see a little split pin in here and uh, we're just going to take that out. So there's that one and that will release this pin. Now we're going to pull the pin. There we go. And now you can take this brake pad out, which is on the slider, and you can take the second brake pad out. There we go. Then we take the new pads, rip them out the packet, So then we can slot in our new brake pad there. That's the first one. And then the second one comes over the slider like that. And then we can reinsert the pin. Maybe a little awkward. And then put the split pin back in. Perfect. Now before you slide this caliper back on, there's a spring here which we need to push down and a spring here that we need to push down and that is to clip over the rear brake like that and you don't want to break that so once that's in place the spring will pop in front and then you can slide it back over your disc. So that just goes back on there like that, one pad either side, line up our bolts. Oi. So, now that we've changed our brake pads, the only important thing that's left to do is to pump the brakes. So uh, if you look at this, this goes straight in and that's because we've got to pump the fluid round and that'll take a few pumps. There we go, and now the pressure's come back. And we're going to do the same with the foot brake down here. We're just going to pump it up and there we go. Now it's back up to pressure. So now test your brakes and of course ride carefully for the first few miles because they're going to be bedding into your new pads or rather the new brake pads are going to be bedding into your old disc. And uh, stay safe and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.